welcome. If you didn't watch the little intro video where I made a character, I am Missa. This is Dark Souls. This is our character. Her name is Mist. She is a pyromancer. As you can see, if you did watch that video, our character does not look like she did when we made her. She is undead and in her undead state. We start this thing off with a knight who handily, helpfully, drops a body in through the sky up there. And on that skylight is a key, so he is helping us escape for unknown reasons. As I said in the previous video, um, I have not beaten Dark Souls. I am a few hours into it and decided I should record a video, because why not? Let's take a shot at this thing. Look at that. That is big and mean and ugly looking. It's apparently our guard of this prison. So for a little while it's going to look like I know what I'm doing. Um, maybe. Probably not to veteran players. And then after that I'm going to be completely and hopelessly lost. So these are just, this is a tutorial area. These messages are from the developers. You can click on them. It tells you, you can tell it's from the developers because it has that knight circle, or circle with a knight in it. Those are developer messages. It's just telling you what the controls are basically. You have regular attack and strong attack and dash and you know, you can lock on characters and that kind of thing. And that is all well and good. And our job right now is just to get out of the asylum. This is the tutorial little area. You know what the developers are doing with the game to help you out. Later in the game, these little marks will be left by players and we can leave them as well. This is a bonfire one of the most important aspects of the game. These allow you to heal yourself. They reset your um, health potions, so once we get one of those in a little bit. And they also reset all the enemies in the area. So any enemies you've killed, with exceptions like bosses and, you know, special enemies, do come back to life once you've used that. And over here's not much going on. There is a door over here we can't get into. It's not open to this side. You'll see a lot of stuff like this where you'll see a door that doesn't open from one side or a ladder you can't get to yet and those are usually shortcuts to get you um, back to the area the game is very open, it's not linear at all things wrap around and connect to themselves which means you can get to um, parts of the game you really shouldn't be at yet and if you look through that window up above us there is a demon up there a lot like the one we saw walking around a minute ago he has a big old club or something so that'll be fun. Let's go in here. So looking forward to it now, aren't you? So let's get in here. Again, if you look up before you move, there he is. You can see his body there. Go in here and do another developer message. He says, get away when he comes down on us. Oh my goodness, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And you flee. Simple enough. The first time I played this, he did kill me. Because I was reading the developer match, it says, get away, and I'm like, get away from what? And boom. Dead. Dead. This is the only part of the game you'll find bonfires as close to each other. I mean, they're normally, you know, they're normally nice and far apart, and like one per zone kind of thing. This gives us a shield. So you can see our little inventory screen, I'll show it to you. One thing to note, um, going to your inventory and stuff does not pause the game. Just so you know. So we have a left hand and a, you know, right hand, and got which gear we can put on. So there is no pause at all, I suspect that's because of the, P the uh, PvP aspects of the game. Watch this guy run away. There we go. We can get ourselves a hand axe, we'll equip that real quick. Instead of our straight sword hilt, which is kind of worthless. Alright, let's go beat up some guys. We'll block that, and that, and excellent kick in a couple times, because why not? You'll see this a lot through the game too, these uh, white lights. Those are usually just leading you to a new area, they will also lead you into boss fights. And once you're through them, they just open up. Unless it's a boss fight, in which case it'll open up after the um, fight's over. You'll see down below is where we were just at, that's where our bonfire was, that's that big door. Or the demon trying to jump on our heads. And one thing about Dark Souls, Dark Souls is not nice. 
It is very mean and um, hateful. But for the most part, it is fair. So, for example, look up these steps. At the top of these steps, you've seen a round shape, right? And it's moving forth. You notice it doesn't, it's, doesn't, it's not part of the architecture, it's not moving. That's a boulder. So if you're looking for stuff like that, you'll see it, right? And then you come up here, and it'll trigger, and get out of the way. But most players, myself included, you just run up steps. You're, not, you're looking like this, right? You just run like this. And then a boulder hits you in the face, and that's that. So when you come down here, just to show you this, this is the door on um, we saw earlier that was locked. You can open it just as a shortcut back to this bonfire. In case you know, we'll rest here. In case we somehow die in a minute, we, you know, have a bonfire close by. Because when you die, you come back at a bonfire. Bonfire. You'll notice we have 80 souls in the bottom right. Let me kill this guy right here. We will get some more. We got 20 more. Souls are your currency. They're also what you level with. And here we have our NPC. Oh, who we'll talk to. You. You're now hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. So you may note, this is the same guy we saw a minute ago who threw the body down to us with the key. And you'll also note that there was no way into this room. So here's the door, and it's blocked off, obviously, by giant bricks. We only got in here because this big old steel boulder came through the wall. And if you look up, there is a hole in the ceiling. Who else we see on the ceiling? That big old demon. So the idea is that this guy came up here, dropped a key down to us, you know, help us out, and then the asylum demon, which is protecting this area, saw him, knocked him, got in a fight, knocked him through the ceiling down here where he is going to die. That's and that's the story. I think it's just telling us to yeah use item is what button it is. Estus flask are your health. You start with five. When you go to a bonfire, when you rest at a bonfire, that replenishes up back up to five. So it is a you know, renewable resource. What was that sound? Like a knife slit. Whoa. And the night is gone. Okay, that's scary. Um, so I'll try to give you anything like that that I know as we go. Um, I've watched a bunch of lore videos. I am not a lore expert. Like I said, I haven't even beat this game before. So I'm not a lore expert. Um, if you want lore stuff, go check out Epic Name Bros channel. He has uh, just a straight lore series that's not gameplay. It's just, you know, him telling you all the lore stuff. It's amazing. The lore in this game is really deep. But the story... They don't tell it to you much. Oh man, he's just hacking away at me. So there's not much dialogue in this um, game. There's not much in the way of um, cutscenes. We'll see the longest two at you know, the very beginning, and then after the tutorial here, we'll see another one. And that's about it. Um, a lot of the lore is told through item descriptions. So check this out. We're going to put on our pyromancy flame, lets us throw fireballs. 
I said we got this because we started as the Pyromancer. We get the Pyromancy Flame. And if you if I click the right buttons, go in there and toggle display, pretty much every item has a item description. And a lot of these will tell you things about like where they came from. They mention um, kingdom names and names of gods and all kinds of stuff. And that's where you get a lot of the lore from. You have to go through and read all those descriptions, which is what like, Epic Name Bro and people have done to make their lore videos. And it's really interesting. So I said, we are an undead. We are in prison because they do with undead people. Let's see if we can backstab this guy. Nope. There we go. You can backstab people for extra special crazy damage. You can also parry and repost. This door is blocked. Yes. So I'll try to tell you some lore. I might get some of it wrong. I hope not. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot I will be telling you just because I don't remember it. And after, you know, a little while, we'll get to parts of the game where I just don't know what's going on anymore. And that'll be that. Let us... Yeah, keep our hand axe. And if you'll notice, we've kind of circled around. So this is going to be where that giant demon is. And he is right down there. We will hack at him. Lock on. Always try to stay behind your enemies if you can. This guy will light you up. Uh oh. Get away and roll. Oh, I got hit. That was not. Don't die. Don't. Don't die. Oh, I'm got stuck on a pillar. This is really, really, really bad, actually. I could die right here. And I did. So that was embarrassing. Dark Souls. Dark. Dark Souls. I'll be saying that a lot in this game. Can't believe I just died of the Asylum Demon. Alright. Um. That does not speak well. So that's why I opened that door earlier. You can't get back in that door we were just in. Once that boulder's gone, it's gone. Did you stop hacking like a crazy person? Alright, kill that. So later you can come back here and get through that other door that was locked. I'm all kind of turned around. The big thing with Dark Souls, Dark Souls combat, is don't get impatient. That is the biggest, biggest thing. Because getting impatient will get you killed. He's right there again. Land on his head again. Alright, try again. Try to get and stay behind him this time. Oh no, don't land on my head, which you did. I didn't realize what I was doing because I'm an idiot. I'm trying to like learn to play. What in the world? What is my doing today? So that green bar over there is your uh, health. Not your health, your soul, it's called. And when you die, you leave your soul on the ground there. That was too soon, I think, but it's okay. And if you want to recover your soul, you pick that up. In love with there, but it's okay. And one more. No, yes, okay. So as our first boss dead, can't believe I let him kill me. That's okay, that's Dark Souls. But let's just talk about this mechanic here. So when you die, you lose all of your souls, so we're down at zero at the bottom right, and you lose any humanity you have, which is the double zeros in the top left. We didn't have any humanity, so it's okay. If you can get back to your bloodstain, which is this right here, you can recover your souls and humanity that you had. If you die before you get back, it disappears and you get bupkis. We got a key from our Asylum Demon. And that is our tutorial. I'll heal up, because why not? There's no good reason to, but you know. I guess there's one little thing in this area I can show you first. So over here, 
There are some souls. Soul of a lost undead. So these, so when you kill enemies, you get souls. And if you if you die, you lose them, right? It's in the bottom right side. Um, or you can also pick up like that, souls of lost undead, souls of proud heroes, all kinds of stuff. Those go in your inventory, and you, they don't go into your bottom right corner until you use them. So when you die, you don't lose those. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. This is also something special for this area. Um, this nest, this is something I have no idea how anyone would figure this out the first time through. Maybe you could. So when they're saying give me something, they mean take some out of your inventory and drop it for them. And depending on what you drop them, they will give you other stuff. I'm not sure what that stuff is. I don't think we need anything. She will not be doing that. And that's the tutorial area. We fought a demon. We lost, then we won. We learned how to fight a little bit. We got Pyromancer Flame. And that would do us for the time being, I believe. We got some gestures here. we can be happy. Yay, we won the tutorial. Alright. So that's that for this video. I think I will stop here. And next time, we will pick up at Firelink Shrine. See you then.